Hey guys, what's up? It's Chris here at Touch iPods, and today is Wednesday, April 28th, 2010. And today I have the review too for you guys of a T-Phone case for the iPod Touch 2nd generation uh, from AccessoryGeeks.com. AccessoryGeeks.com, make sure to check them out. Link in the sub bar down there in the video description. Eh? Um, it's a very eco-friendly case. And uh, I have another one, so that means there will be a giveaway in the future on one of these. So if you're interested, uh, definitely make sure you finish watching this whole review. Uh, but before I do that, I want to give two quick shout-outs. Um, I want to give one to Tiki Tech Talk. Gave him a shout-out in yesterday's video, another one in today's. Cool little name there. Um, what he does is he does uh, updates on like Apple News and Tech News. He'll let you guys know about that. He does reviews. And I also saw a couple of Modern Warfare 2 videos on his channel. So if you're interested in those types of things, go and check him out for that. Uh, his link will be in the sub bar or under bar down there. And I also want to give one to I Touch Fiends Facebook. I Touch Fiends Facebook. That's his YouTube name. Not It's not relating to his Facebook or something like that. That's his YouTube name. Uh, he does a lot of reviews and unboxings, but he wanted me to mainly let you guys know that he's having a huge giveaway going on right now with a bunch of iPhone and all different kinds of cases. Um, a bunch of different iPhone cases and all different things like that. So go ahead and definitely check that out. Uh, he really wanted me to let you guys know that he has this big giveaway going on. So if you're interested in that, check him out in the uh, bar below. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this. All right, guys. So like I said, I have the two Dua cases here to review for you guys. Uh, they are both the same, so I'm going to leave one unopened and put it off to the side for a future giveaway. But give you guys a quick look at it. It is a darker wood. Um, just give you guys a nice little look at what this case looks like. Put that off to the side on top of my iPad over there. Um, and we're going to go ahead and get into this case, which I have tried out and uh, already opened. So we're going to go ahead and open this, and I'll give you a quick rundown of what T-Phone is all about. Now, this product is sold from AccessoryGeeks.com, a uh, nice exclusive case over there. And what this case is, it's a very eco-friendly case. So if you're the kind of person that likes green things and eco-friendly and all that kind of jazz, this is what you're going to want to go ahead uh, and check out. This is going to be your type of case. Um, by the way, packaging with this product, all of it was done to the full ex fullest extent for it to be eco-friendly. So the least amount of materials was used and the best materials... Um, for this possible design we're used for the packaging. Um, it says on this little card right here, it says that, uh, where is it, all products and packaging were made from environmentally friendly material. So that's a good upside if you're the eco-friendly type of person. So we're going to go ahead and push this stuff off to the side over there. Actually, we'll just put it right here. And we'll get on to the case. Now, as you guys can see, this isn't like any other case you've seen out there. Uh, it is a one-of-a-kind type of case. Uh, it is wood, if you didn't really catch the drift yet of this case. Um, and um, it is a originally a low plastic structure, but then it is coated with this piece of wood that is stretched and put around the case itself to make it have this knock-on-wood type of case. Now... Every case, every wood case that they have is going to be different, uh, obviously, because all the wood, none of it's going to be the same. So every case you have is going to be original, and it's not going to be like any other uh, ones in that line that they may have. Uh, on the inside of the case, it's nice and smooth, except for these two lines that go down the center. I believe that's maybe where it was sealed, or maybe where it was put together. Uh, but it doesn't seem like too big of a deal. It doesn't seem like it's sharp. It is still smooth. Um, but if that does bother you, that this may not be the case for you. Um... Uh, the red inside, you don't really need to worry about that because you don't see that. And the color on the inside may differ, they said. Uh, you have your cutouts, all that jazz, which I'll show you in a second. And then you have the wood, obviously, there. Now, it's a very simple snap-on case. Volume rocker side in first, like always. And just snap it in. And you'll know when it's in. You'll hear the snap. It's very, um, it's nicely defined. And then you have a very nice-looking, stylish case on your iPod or iPhone, if you're interested. They sell it for the iPhone as well. And you guys can see that the Wi-Fi is cut out, so you don't have to worry about interfering with your signals or anything. And this flip minnow is actually doing this case justice. It's actually doing a pretty good justice. Uh, you guys can really see the grain, the wood, and the texture of it. Um, it's actually doing a really good job. Uh, it usually doesn't do cases justice, but 
it actually is doing a pretty good job on how this case actually looks. Um, on the front, you're not covered the bezel or anything like that. It comes up a little bit, but not too much. On the top, you're exposed. You have your power button, volume rockers exposed, and the bottom of your dock exposed, so you can sync and charge and all that jazz. On the back, like I said, the Wi-Fi, and the, other than that, the back is fully covered. Uh, but it is a pretty sturdy case. It is wood, so you're going to be getting some good protection there. Um... Things I like about this case is the design itself, obviously, that it is wood, that it is eco-friendly, uh, saving the environment, all that things, all those types of things is a great thing. Um, so that's cool that they incorporated it, or that they somehow incorporated it into a iPhone case, or iPod Touch case, excuse me. Um, it's very smooth, the finish is very smooth, you guys can see it's also kind of shiny, I do like that as well, looks very nice. Um, I also like that it's unique and a one-of-a-kind style, every, different, every one is going to be different, I like that as well. Um, some things I don't like about this case is that this is probably what you're going to get because of it being the wood and you can't, and since it's so thin, you can't do that many minor adjustments or it might snap or something, but the top is a little off. You guys can see how it goes over and then comes up a little bit. So it's not directly on the back of your iPod. So it might be a little bit loose, um, if you were to drop it or something. Um, so that doesn't perfectly match up. And same thing on the bottom. It's a little bit off, but... That comes with it being a really thin material and that it's not really going to... They, they can't do much about it because it might snap. Uh, there are a lot of jagged edges around here that they're not really sharp. They're just not really smoothed out. It would have been nice to see those smoothed out a little bit. But for the price of $14.99 and free shipping from Accessory Geeks, if you're the type of person that wants an eco-friendly type of case, if you're the eco-friendly type of person... For around $15 in free shipping, you really can't go wrong with this case. Personally, is it a case that I would buy? Is it a case that I would go from a website, purchase it, and rock it every day? No, this isn't my style of case because you guys know I don't like snap-on cases now because of, well, fail. Um, so, personally, it's not my style of case. Maybe it is for you guys, but for me, it's just not my style. I do like it. It is a very nice style of case. It is one of a kind. feels great. It looks great, and it's good for the environment, but it's just not my style of case. For those of you that is awesome, definitely check this out from AccessoryGeeks.com. The link will be down there in the sub bar. They've been very supportive, supportive of my channel over the time. So big thanks to them. Definitely check them out on their Twitter as well. Follow that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, there's not much more to say for you guys. Uh, there will be a giveaway in the future of this other case that I have here. Just not in this video because I do have a lot of giveaways going on. I have the 20, 20K giveaway which is still going on. If you're not in on that, get, on, get in on that over 40 prizes. I have the um, My Gear Store and uh, Wireless Rage giveaway going on which I'm going to end in a couple of days. And I might have another one. I'm not even sure. I have just a lot of stuff going on for you guys right now. Oh yeah, the iPad giveaway. I have that video going on the case for the iPad. Um, so a lot of things going on right now on my channel here while I'm trying to get caught up back with you guys. Going to do a couple of, I'm going to at least do one video every day. Um, so thank you guys for watching this video. Favorite, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Everybody have a wonderful night. Thanks to Accessor Geeks. Thanks to you guys for watching. Thanks to you guys for a thumbs up, for liking this video, for subscribing, for commenting. And uh, let me know your guys' thoughts on this case, your opinions, if you would purchase it or not. And if you think the eco-friendly thing is a good thing or a bad thing. Or give me your opinions, guys, in a comment or video response down below. I want to hear what you have to say. So I'll catch you guys in the next one. Everyone have a great night, and I'll see you guys later. Oh, peace.